everyone today i'm going to create a custom exception so let's start by creating go to file and new create a java project and i will name it as custom exception tutorial and inside this what i will do i'll create a class file i'll name it as my custom tutorial and let it be inside com.sumit.pyjava and let my main method to be here only so i'll make public static void main string args string argument and this is the main method so let's create a scenario before uh, let me explain what i'm going to create and what should the exception be so let's create a scenario where if the or let some comic scenario like if the logged in user is me that is Sumit, then just provide it throw or throw an exception so let the comic scenario be like if logged in user is Sumit, then throw the exception throw exception okay throw the exception exception so we will consider this scenario only and what i will do here i will create an exception class that is my exception make, make it public make it class my exception which will extend the exception class that is extends exception this class and inside this what i will do i'll create the constructor of this class only that is public my exception and inside this i'll pass a string str which will be provided in the super method of this that is super method of this that is str so this is the exception which we have made this is the custom exception and custom exception what it does we will ha have to create an exception of our exception whatever the exception name we provide and which will extend the exception class and inside this you will have to create the constructor of that exception class which you have made and provide the string argument which to be provided while throwing an exception and which will be passed in the super method of the constructor which you have called and let in the scenario we are checking like make public static final name of logged in user name of logged in user b like let's provide i am summit or just pass as detail final here will be string so this is the final mm, string suppose this is coming from database or some other source or some other method and we have to check whether the, the user is a is me that is Sumit or not and throw the exception so what i will do here i will just first throw the exception that is if this that is this string there is suppose let's suppose that this is coming from some other method so if this detail of the user logged in user is coming and it contains Sumit that is me then just throw the exception throw new exception new my exception that is this exception that is caught Sumit let's see whether it works or not and we have to provide in throws 
that is this so when i will run this file run as our application that is this see exception was thrown and which exception was thrown that is my exception which we have created that this is a custom exception which is thrown and the message which is being printed is the message which we have provided that is caught and what we will have to do uh, not just explicitly throwing this let's just provide in the try catch block so what we will do here i'll provide this in the try catch block so make it try and provide close the try block and provide catch and then this provide exception or it, this is my, my custom exception so this will be my exception me and let's print the detail here me dot get message get message so in this time the detail will come out to be okay so when i'll run this see so it's got so finally this is the logged in user which we are we are getting from some other resources let's assume and if the user is sumit so i'm blocking that sumit by creating a custom exception that is this exception and this exception is basically extending the exception class or a custom exception is extending the custom and um, extending the exception class and this exception class has a super method where we have passed our string argument and this is finally thrown if the condition fulfills and it is cached in the catch block so in this way we can create the custom exception the basic idea is to just extend the exception class and provide the string argument in the super method thank you all